Coming up next is a friend of mine who is in Leslie's and my prayers daily because she gets to love on and care for and educate our girls every day as their teacher. This is Alicia Norman, and she is a teacher at a brand new, incredible Christian school in Strasbourg called Adoration Christian School. And they uh, are in the building that houses um, uh, Cross Connection Church. And so it's in Cross Connections building, and they just launched this school this year, and they are beautiful. And their staff and administrators exude the heart of Jesus and love for these students and families. And so we've asked Alicia to come up today and to pray over education. All right, Lord, we just lift up these students to you in, uh, everywhere, in schools, public schools, private schools. Um, even the little homeschoolers. Um, just pray for all the students that you would just help them to protect their minds from the enemy trying to come against them. Um, I just pray that you would give them a desire to know you and to know who they are in you and that through that, they're able to influence the other kids around them. I pray that they won't be ashamed of their faith, that they will rise up and they will do amazing things even more than any other generation and i just lift up all the teachers to you thank you so much for our teachers they do so much and uh just pray that you would just protect them help them give them energy give them strength to get through these times and i pray for them to even break through the the things that they've been told not to say and not to do um and i just pray that jesus you would just overcome all of those things um, that you would give them passion and a desire to pray for their students and to put you first and to show that and to show the fruit of that and that the students would look to them and want to grow up and be like their teachers one day. And I pray over all the administration, all the people who do things behind the scenes, I pray that you would also help them and guide them and give them strength and protect them as well. And uh, just thank you so much for all of our children that we get to be a part of and helping them raise up. And and I just uh, thank you again, Lord, and help to fill everything that um, we don't even know what to pray. And uh, we pray it all in your name. Amen. Coming up next is a friend of mine, and I've known Joe for years now. And Joe has a heart for this community that I believe is unrivaled by many people. Uh, he serves as not only the pastor of First Presbyterian Church in New Philly, but also serves as the president of the board for Friends of the Homeless. And so Joe is highly and deeply invested in the lives of many in our community, many of the marginalized, many of those that we would walk by on the street and maybe ignore or not want to engage with. Joe goes after them. He loves them. He is a demonstration of the kindness of Jesus day in and day out. And so I just, Joe, I honor you today. I thank you for everything that you do. Um, he is so humble, so full of the love of Jesus. And uh, we've asked him tonight to come and pray over the media. So Joe. So one thing about the media is that we think it's this giant colossal thing. We think that it just controls our lives. We think it just siphons away from us and makes us believe one way or another. But really the way that we use media is the way that it's supposed to be there to give us information, to give us truth, to help us to understand the world that is around us and not just one side of it. It is there in order so that we might be able to talk to one another and know the important issues that we face in our daily lives. And this community has a lot of media. We have several newspapers, several radio stations, a TV station. And one thing that maybe we don't understand is if you have one of these inside of your pocket, you are engaged in the media. If you ever like a Facebook post, if you ever send a, a message on Telegram, if you ever engage on social media, you are a part of that information. And Jesus is there in order so that we might spread truth to all of our situations, that we might speak truth, that we might be truth, 
to those who need it. And one thing that I have to remember is that there is a saint of the church who, a while ago, he spoke, someone asked him if the entirety of the Bible was wiped out, if you could preserve only one section of the Bible, one verse of the Bible that would communicate the truth and the idea of God, what would it be? And without hesitation, this saint said, you shall know the truth and the truth will make you free. And so let us pray for that freedom. Let us pray for the right use of the media and pray for everyone who writes an article, who does a radio broadcast, who sends a message that everything they do will communicate goodness to everyone that they are talking to. Let us pray. Almighty God, you are the source of all truth and all life. You are the one who truly gives us our purpose. You are the one who sets us in the right places, at the right times, in the right circumstances, in order so that you might speak through us, that we might be a blessing to those we come across. To everyone in the media, Lord, to everyone in the newspapers, to everyone in the radio business, to everybody who does any kind of media work on the internet, we offer them to you. And we ask that your presence be known to them. May you be with them. May you speak through them. May you help them to be the beacons of truth. The beacons that truly will help people to know their place in this world. Know what they are supposed to do. And truly find their place and their completeness in this life. Help us to always speak the truth. And in the process set everyone we know free. In the name of Jesus. Amen.